Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Today we will be doing the purple pop flower, the first out of seven in our Midsummer's Dream Cal. It's a tradition in Sweden that you pick seven different flowers and put on your pillow, all in silence, uh, on Midsummer's Eve night. And then you are supposed to dream of your forever love. And so we thought this would be a really fun thing to do and to celebrate Midsummer's Eve wherever you are in the world. Or just to have a lovely little floral outfit for the summer. So <laughs> if you're joining the Cal, you will make two of these flowers in the colors of your choice. And if you're only here to make one flower, go ahead and play around with it. Use whatever colors and yarns you have at hand. Um, you can do that for the cal too, of course. But for this one, we are using our must-haves from Yarn and Colors with a three millimeter hook, seen here. <laughs> and you will also need a needle to sew in the ends and a scissor, of course, to cut the yarn. And that's it. All you need is two colors of yarn, a hook that goes with it, and then, yeah, just a little bit of time. Okay, let's begin. So to begin, we grab our color A yarn, which in my case is vanilla. And we just start off by doing a magic circle. You can, of course, use a chain circle too if you want to. Just chain three or four and slip stitch into the first. It should hold six popcorns. So depending on what yarn you use, you might have to add or decrease the number of chains. But never mind that. We are getting right into the stitches. So as I said, we are starting off with six popcorns. And I always start with a standing stitch. So I just raise my loop. Go around the body, grabbing the yarn, pulling it to the front, two loops on my hook, yarn over and pull through two. And that is my first fake uh, double crochet. You can of course chain two or three to the height of a double crochet if you prefer. And these popcorns consists of four double crochets. So I will go ahead and do three more. So we have one, two, three and four like that. And then I simply drop the loop, go into our first double crochet, that is my fake one, grab the loop and pull through. And then I chain one to close. And this is not count as a stitch on its own in this pattern, this is part of the popcorn, okay? So we're doing five more popcorns. So go ahead and do four double crochets into your circle. like that and then drop the loop go through the first stitch grab the loop and pull through and chain one to close like that so do that four more times and meet me up to close this round okay have fun so i just finished my very last double crochet and we'll pull through and close with a chain so now I have one, two, three, four, five, and six popcorns. So you just take your end tail and pull it to the back like that. And then usually I recommend to do an invisible join, but when it comes to popcorns, you want it to be tight. So find the center of the popcorn and go in with your hook and do a slip stitch. And then you fasten off, okay? So when you fasten off, I will show you, you will pull on the starting end quite tightly so it really closes up and then you sew a few times back and forth here and the same goes for this end tail you just go through the back and forth here okay so do that and meet me up for round number two <music> So I hope that went smoothly for you, that you have a lovely little popcorn start here. It's always fun with popcorns. They bring so much dimension and life right from the start. So to keep that on going, we are now about to create, let me show you, 
these little fold over sections here that are so cute. So yeah, that's what we are going to do. And we are only working in the popcorns. As I said, we the closing chain does not count as a stitch on the popcorns. So we are just beginning in any given. Let's go down the, the middle there, right into a popcorn and make a standing single crochet or slip stitch chain one if that is what you prefer. And when you have done this little single crochet, we are going to chain five, three, four and five like that and then in the second loop stitch from the hook we have the first we have the second third fourth and fifth so into the second one we are doing a slip stitch and then we're doing a half double crochet into the next two so one just take it nice and slow and this will go like a dance two and then we are slip stitching into the very last one. If I can get into it, <laughs> there we go. And then we are simply going to repeat this. So right into the next popcorn, do a single crochet like that. Look, it's building a nice little bridge there. And just chain five, three, four, and five. Into the second one from the hook, from the hook one two make a slip stitch like that and then a half double crochet in the next two so one and it's hard to do on camera <laughs> this will go like a charm i promise you as soon as you get the hold of it so there's number two and then we are repeating the exactly same again so single crochet, chain five, slip stitch in the second one from the hoop, half double crochet in the next two, slip stitch, and then you go on until you have six of these, okay? I will show you one more, and then you're on your own before we are fastening off, okay? So just one, two, three, four, five, slip stitch in the second one, half double crochet in the next two, you can always check at the written pattern, of course, or rewind this segment if you forget, okay? And so slip stitch into the last one. And yeah, just carry on, do this three more times and meet me up to close, okay? Look, so cute. Have fun. And here we have it. We have one, two, three, four, five, and six finished little overlay pedal sections here and to close this round we are simply doing a little slip stitch into the very first single crochet that we made okay how cute so for the next round i will show you exactly what to do but we are creating chain stitches to anchor our last layer of pedals in but first i will go ahead and just fasten this off real quick so it's not in the way when i'm showing you okay so finish off your round and meet me up for round number three so there we go now we can start our round number three and as i said we are creating the little chain spaces in the back that will hold these pedals so we are into our second to last round already this is such a super quick make so what we do the slip stitch that we did to close the round counts as our first slip stitch of the repeat so slip stitch chain three placing it behind the pedal from round number two and simply slip stitch into the next single crochet so we're skipping all the pedal action we are only working in the single crochets and we have now a little chain space on the back you want it behind the pedal and not in front of it because otherwise it will be really messy next round so just slip stitch and chain three going behind the pedal you can always tuck it down with your thumb like i'm doing just to make sure that it's out of the way and then pull on it a little bit so it really sits in front of our newly created chain three space so we are simply doing this all the way around and if it happens just pull it back up there we go and then we close with a slip stitch into the very first slip stitch that we made okay 
So do that and meet me up for round number four. Okay, so after finishing round number three, we should have all these lovely little chain spaces, six of them placed behind our front pedals. And then we'll actually help push these up so they really curve lovely around the center. So all sweet and cute here. But for round number four, we are going to make these luscious, large, beautiful pedals. So you simply slip stitch into the next chain three space and then work a half double crochet, a double crochet, and a treble, yarn over times two, all around the same chain three space, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two, like that. And now we finish this height with a little picot, so chain two, and then work a slip stitch through the two loops of the previous stitch you see here in the front. And if you think it's really fiddly, you can always do a slip stitch through the first chain that you made, but this one anchors it a lot better down here. So that's what I prefer. And now we are just mirroring our way back down. So a treble, yarn over twice, pull through two loops, pull through two loops, pull through two loops. And then a double crochet, half double crochet, whoops, there we go, and the slip stitch. And now we are skipping the next slip stitch and repeating the same. I will show you one more time this gorgeous little pedal and then I will meet you up to close. So we slip stitch into the next chain three space, do a half double crochet, grab more yarn <laughs> if needed, double crochet, a little treble all the way up there. There we go. Chain two to make a picot and then slip stitch through the two front loop of the previous treble here. There we go. And then yarn over twice again, mirroring your way back down with the treble and then with the double crochet a half double crochet, almost there, there we go, and a slip stitch. And skip the slip stitch and then repeat this all the way around four more times, okay? So do that and meet me up to close. So here we go, we have finished all our six pedals. One, two, three, four, five, six, double check that they are correct. And then we are simply going to cut our yarn like that and close with an invisible join to the second stitch the first one was the half no sorry the first one was the slip stitch so where we will place our invisible join is in the half double crochet over here so there we go Boop. and then i'm simply going back and hiding it into the yarn richest part of this round which is on the back side of this pedal just working my way here one or two times three times three times probably there we go just to make sure we don't want it to unravel on us and there we go so here we have her our darling little purple pop flower isn't she adorable i just love the look of her so much texture and quite a quick make i must say so i have made her in different colors here and you can go ahead and starch them or block them if you want to but i will leave mine as they are because i like the organic feel they have when they curl a little bit on one side and just squish together and hug the center as i told you before but you can play around with these for sure and if you are joining our darling little midsummer mini cal you know that you have to do not one but two of these flowers and yeah these will be used for our forever love ref that we are making this very week so today it's monday and we will be releasing flowers 
every single day up until Friday. So stay tuned for more. Go ahead and subscribe to our newsletter on our homepage, sistersinstitch.com. We can find more patterns, read all about this little mini cow and make sure to catch all the upcoming videos. Okay? So please give us a thumbs up, leave a little comment below and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more fun each and every day this week. And upcoming too, <laughs> of course. Thank you so much for joining. See you soon. Okay. Bye.